and welcome to the sixth advanced Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to continue on with the RPG game and have the classic RPG movement style with the background moving apart from the Etsy edges and then the character moves around of its own accord. And to do this we will continue by adding a new function called F move char. If you haven't seen the other tutorials then this won't make much sense. So go back and check them out before you see this. So in the main loop here, we're, we're referring to the f move char. So it will go to this new function. This is one of the most complex functions. So if you thought that was complicated, this is very complicated. So if you don't understand it, just copy it down, and you might understand it later. But you need this, and you can then play around with it. So you're still going to be needing to hold down the various keys. So for your character to move after the background stop moving. So we're still going to detect this, but also char u has to be bigger than zero then. So this means that when you're moving up and it's been triggered that char u equals one, then the characters will start moving. The reason I've got bigger than one is because these values not only can be one, but as you'll see later, with certain uses of their minus two and three, um, but I'll show you that soon. So now we'll do the outer key down zero eight and char down is bigger than zero then. So I'll do this for all four. So here I've just um, done the same thing for all the different key downs and making sure that the value of the that character moving is bigger than zero in that particular direction. So just copy that down, and now I'll do each go into each statement. So when you've got the boundary and the character not moving, then it sets char u as one. So we're going to say if char u is one in particular. So here it's just checking if it's bigger than zero. If it's that in particular, then we're going to say that uh, the character moving down equals 2. And the reason for this is because now we're currently at the top. So when the character moves up here, we'll say the char up equals 1. But we want to say char d equals 2. So, that, so we know the character's not at the bottom of the map, but it's at the top. So it will still let you move the character down. And this is so it can detect when you're back in the middle whether to have the background start moving again because if you're at the bottom if you're at the bottom of the screen then it would detect if you've moved above this line in the middle whereas when you're at the top it would detect if you're below that so by setting the down as two when you're up here it makes clear that you're at the top of the screen and not the bottom and that's the way I figured out how to do this I'm sorry if it's complicated again, uh, but this is advanced and this is just one way of doing it. So now we'll say if character's y position is bigger than zero, so this is just to check that as long as the character that's moving around isn't above the very top of the screen, because the top is zero, then the character's y position can be moved up by 1, so char y equals char y minus 1. And now we're going to do a select command, which is similar to if, but we're just testing to see if it's set a specific value. So we'll do case 1, so if the char up is 1, then we're going to do this. Otherwise, if it's this, then we're going to do this, and then we'll have an end select there. And if char up is one, then oh, I can't read this. Um, but if char u is one, then that means it's at the top of the screen, and we want to detect if it's moved below the middle of the screen. So to do that, we'll add another if statement in here. If char y is smaller than the screen length divided by two, and then again. 
the character length divided by two. Then, and as you see, this is half way down the screen, which is the same as we set here for the starting position. So you should understand what that means. So if the if the character is bigger than halfway down the screen, so sorry, that should be bigger than a sign. If the character is more than halfway down the screen, then what we're going to do is we're going to say no longer can the character itself move up or down the background will move and then we'll have an end if and otherwise if it's case 2 that means character up value is 2 that means the character will be at the bottom of the screen then we're going to we're going to do the same as this so I can just copy and paste this however we're going to see if it is smaller than that so if it's in the top half of the screen because it's at the bottom that's when the background will start moving. Sorry for the complicated again. And then to finish off this if statement here, I will say otherwise. So if the character is at the very top of the screen, then the char down would equal two. So it's again making sure it's at the top, so you can only move down. And we'll just say char up is 3 and the reason for this is if we make it 0 then the background will start moving and we don't want that so now that it's 3 it means that nothing's going to happen with that at the moment while it's at the top of the screen and then we'll do an end if and now all we've got to do is do the exact same but taking into account the different x's and y's and the different ups and downs and left and right and applying this to the other three I won't type them all out to show you because it'll take too long um, so I'll let you copy it down when I'm done. So here I've just um, copy and pasted the same code for the three different key down um, if statements or else if and changed the respective values so for the down one it's if char d, d instead of char u then it oh then it does then char u equals 2 instead of char d equals u uh, char d equals 2 sorry um, so now if you just pause this video and copy this in where the else if was ok and so if you pause that and done that now there's the left one just copy that down if you're that good and you've figured out what I've done and you can change it yourself then good for you so pause this copy that down ok and finally this last bit here I've just changed the respective values and I don't think it'd be worth it just typing it all out because it takes way too long so there's all this so we've got the four functions and now let's run it so now the character can go all the way to the top you can go all the way to the left but then when he gets halfway the background starts moving but you see he still stays here to the left and then when he gets to the middle the background starts moving he gets to the edge of this map and then it works like this and remember you can still change the map so to show you this is the top I'll add a little bit of water on the top right and show you how you can get all the way there and to also how useful using all these different variables is say I want to expand the map to the left side and I put an extra four along the X and that would mean that it's now 30 you don't have to do this you can have as whatever map you want just as long as the straight lines are on the right and along the bottom and you change the number that there are in these variables here so now I say it's 13 let's say say I just made the character a bit longer like give it some green blob on the right I'll save that and now if I again remember so it's 30 by 39 now I change 
the width and length 30 by 39 and it's important to change these variables when you change anything and even now when I run it so it's got that green thing and the map itself is longer so I extended it it still collides correctly which is why I kept on going on about these different variables I'll change it back now quickly it's not that big but so now I can show you how to animate your character so it looks like it's actually running around and I'll do that in the next tutorial and so thank you for watching and remember to subscribe like and comment and I hope you found this tutorial useful in making your own RPG game even though it's been very complicated making it so we can move around properly so I'll see you again soon